foundations of being a large group presenter, today we're continuing on the topic of preparing your technique. One thing that you really want to do when you're a large group presenter is you want to make sure that you've got the kids' attention. What's one of the ways that you can do that? I think the first way is that you have the audience participate with you. If the kids are engaged in the storytelling, they're less passive and they're less likely to get distracted and lose focus. We're going to be talking a little bit about some of the ways to keep kids participatory in the large group presentation in, in our next segment. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk to you about is please be aware that it's not a good idea to ever turn your back to the audience when you're doing your presenting. Keep your feet facing forward and you can turn your head side to side if there's things to address on either side. But please don't ever turn your back on your audience. As you can see, it's easy to lose kids for kids to lose focus when you're not facing them. And also, you lose some of the sound quality as well. So please always keep facing forward and turn your head from side to side. Now here's something a little trickier. What if you have children up here helping you with the Bible story? Well, here's one great technique. What you can do is you can take a piece of masking tape and sort of lay it on the floor here in front of where you're gonna be presenting and tell the kids, hey kids, put your toes on this line and always keep your toes on this line. That way you can make sure that the children are always facing forward and then just tell them, hey, you can look from side to side but keep your toes on that line. All right? Well, that's your next tip for raising kids in Christ. Uh -huh.